back again viewers and these vlogs and food reviews here today and yes it's normally we normally do a takeaway tuesday today but i thought for 2023 i'd do a special takeaway tuesday uh, we've certainly been to quite a lot of places over the uh, over 2023 but uh, i thought i'd do a top 10 but first of all i want to say a massive uh, merry christmas to you all hope you're all enjoying your christmas Hope you've enjoyed the break from work for those of you off work. And I hope you've enjoyed spending family, time with family and friends. So, yeah, I hope everybody's keeping well. Right then, this was a really tough choice to do a top 10. Because, as you know, viewers, I've given a lot of 10s over the, over the year. There's been some absolutely fantastic places we've been to. And there's been places which are probably average. And then you've got the, your places which are, you know, places that perhaps you wouldn't go to again. But it was a tough choice and I've based it on, this is just my personal opinion, and my opinion only as I always say. Right, we will start in 10th place and yeah, Burger Boy is coming in 10th place. Yeah, Burger Boy that we did in Birmingham if you remember, we did in Great Bar. Um, very very nice American style burger, and um, if you can remember, we had all that cheese on. Got a really lovely taste to it. We had a nice little box of fries coming, a nice little box meal. Uh, parking wasn't a problem. Um, enjoyed it. Um, I just thought the price was a bit expensive. Um, so that is why it is in tenth place. Um, I will make it just brief. What I say about each one. So, I'll just to let you know, it's just going to be a brief outline of each one, what I say. In ninth place, I'm going to go for Penny's Cafe. Yeah, I thought Penny's Cafe was really nice. The only thing I thought with Penny's Cafe was, um, the debate was, could it have come with mushrooms? Yes, I do remember I could have said at the time that I could have asked for mushrooms, but I did ask for extra black pudding. Could it have come with mushrooms? The jury is out. I've had some good breakfast where... It comes with mushrooms and black pudding and a few extra things. But I still want it at 10 because I thought the food was very nice and I enjoyed it and I ate all of it. So yeah, I can't complain other than that. But that is why I put Penny's Cafe in ninth place. Um, in eighth place was the Armenian kebab house in Blackpool. Now this was absolutely superb kebab I had in Blackpool. Probably the best kebab I've ever had actually. It was got loads of taste to it really enjoyed it um decent price plenty of places to park and it was right up um the other end well past the pleasure beach in blackpool really enjoyed it would return so that is why that is in eighth place in seventh place i gave it to wong's chinese in wentfield now wong's was very nice got a lovely taste to it lovely chinese really enjoyed it very good price. Um, I always think with Chinese, it's got to have that bit of kick for me, for it to be. Um, so I'll eat it. Um, definitely had that bit of kick to it. Hence why I've given it 7th place. In 6th place, I'm going to give it to Happy Garden in Kingswinford. I thought this had just a little bit of edge on Wong's. Um... I just really remember this one very well, um, and I definitely remember remember it, and I remember how spicy it was, and I I bought my other half one, and even she said how spicy it was. Um, but this one's a fantastic Chinese. I highly recommend this one if you live in the Kingswinford area. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. Plenty there. Um, couldn't eat another thing after it. I was absolutely stuffed after it, to be honest. But good price. Very good, very good meal. Very impressed with it. Would return sixth place. I gave Happy Garden in fifth place. I'm going to give it to the Victoria Chip in Tipton. Now, that's been um, a very popular chip shop around Tipton. Um, when I used to live up Tipton, you always enter the tip, uh, Victoria Chip Shop. There is one around the corner called Andy's, but I think the Victoria's always had the edge on Andy's, in my personal opinion. That is. Um, yeah, the Victoria chip is very good. The chips are always nice too. Plain and battered chips. Uh, got a decent menu. 
uh, plenty of places to park because you've got a big car park at the back where we parked when we did it uh, price was very good as well so hence why i gave victoria chippy uh, fifth place in fourth place slightly ahead of it i've got to go for scoffs chippy in cow's league yes i thought scoffs has just got the edge on the victoria chip shop um they had a few more options on the menu uh, slightly more than the victoria chip shop um i remember it very well um, the chips in scoffs again very very nice i really enjoyed the food there again plenty of places to park they've got a car park in cowsley which has got um plenty of parking spaces so you can go to scoffs the price was very good as well and there's quite a few there's some nice little shops round by scoffs as well that you can go to there's a greg's there and there's heron foods and there's a book bookies if you like if you're into your betting and so on but yeah that gets me that gets fourth place for 2023 does scoffs in third place i've got to give it to the rock fryer in brawley now i did really enjoy the rock fryer it was um the menu was very good i thought the price the prices were exceptionally good uh, when I got to the rock fry, it was actually what do I eat because there was that much on the menu, and parking was okay. You could park just outside. There's some parking spaces, round by the rock fryer. Um, if you remember, I had a burger there, and the burger was fantastic. I will put some pics on the screen so you can see. But yeah, I did enjoy the rock fryer, and would I return? Yes, and I do know it's a very popular one as well, and I think it has won some awards, hasn't it, the rock fryer? So yeah. Now, Warren's third place for me. So, yes, would highly recommend. In second place, now, this was really tough, this was. Believe me, viewers, when I did all this, this is very, very tough choice. I mean, all these places I've mentioned, I would return. I can tell you that now. It was so tough to pick based on some of the places I've been to, because some I've said before, when I first set out this, when I first started my first vlogging codzel, I said that we're going to meet some places, and some of them have got fantastic chefs, and some of them, you know, some people say, yeah, Brandy, it's easy to drum up a bit of food here and there. If that was the case, everywhere you go to would get a 10, and it certainly has not been the case, so I want to put that out there. If it was so easy, every chip shop had been would do really really well and some some would some wouldn't struggle so i've got to put that out there not always it might sound easy and some people might think it's easy but some chip shops succeed some don't so i will put that out there in second place this was i've had to go for the food fest um it comes under tipton bridge literally not far from me it is literally in um just by burn tree so yeah what do i think of uh burn tree island that is well by where burn tree island used to be it's now by the Talby. food fest yeah really impressed with this really love the um, menu you've got plenty of options you got uh buy one get one free on the pizzas you've got various burgers including the angus burger that we had which was exceptionally good um, they're open till early hours of the morning so if you work late it's really beneficial they've got a little car park out the front there's a few parking spaces can be a bit awkward to park but i did think the menu was very good they also do kfc buckets things such as boundless buckets cans of pop they do ice cream they do kebabs they do various things on the menu uh, and it's a very very good price hence why i gave it second place um, really do like that place in first place i have to give it to the five star fish bar in dudley now this was really good really enjoyed the food um i know one or two people have said to me it wasn't as good as it used to be um i've been to this one before a while ago and i thought the food was nice but when i went this time i really enjoyed it and i gave my other half a few chips 
and she enjoyed it that much she actually went down and got herself some food directly after um i thought the, the orange battered chips were really nice really enjoyable the burger had got a lovely taste to it again i thought the menu was very good i thought the prices were very reasonable uh, there is a few parking spaces outside it can be a bit awkward to park but i thought based on the food the food really it goes by its name because i do think it is a five star that there's no doubt about it other people might go and have a different view but that is everybody entitled to their own in regards to their opinion but five star fish bar for me i would have to give it first place like i say it was a very difficult decision like i say out of these all 10 places i will definitely return to because they've all been very very good and i do think i had value for money at every single one of those places there's been other places as well which comes slightly which would be you know just miss the top 10 again regard as in the top 10 which just missed the top 10 based on my view but the plat that was in the top 10 yes i would definitely return but yeah what do you think i mean what do you think for all, all of you who've been watching me over the past you know since i've been on youtube what do you think what would you what would you say has been you'd look at it and say oh andy i'd have gone there i would definitely gone there it looked nice so what's your opinion please leave your thoughts in the comments below and please please keep the comments clean i have had to sort out one or two things regarding the comments because i've had one or two people spamming if you do spam on the channel um your comment will be taken down because um literally i don't tolerate it you know it's okay if you've got a view but if you're coming on and you're going to talk nonsense or you're going to say stuff that i don't approve of it will get took down simple as that so yes yeah, so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this ta uh, takeaway tuesday top 10 favorites list i hope you all enjoy the rest of christmas thanks to everybody who subscribed to me of late i really do appreciate it and thanks to all the lovely comments i'll see you on the next one and it's bye for now